Hello everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Ben, welcome in the sun. It's quite beautiful, I hope there's not too much wind. And in this video, good click because I'm going to teach you how to unlock your ukulele. In my secret laboratory, I've developed a formula that will unlock your playing going up and down the fretboard without any musical theoretical knowledge at all. All you need is this simple map, the simple key or formula, whichever metaphor you want to use, and then just use that. And that is what we're going to have a look at. And it's called the the Cagford. Yeah, but it's going to make sense as well as your whole fretboard. That's the goal of this video. So let's jump right into the Cagford. It's called like this because it's named after different shapes of chords which lock themselves into one another, if you want, and then create uh, a pattern that you can follow to always play the same chord as you play up or down the fretboard. So before we delve into that, which is uh, the technical bit of the video, we must talk a little bit about what is a chord shape opposed to just a chord and also we've got to have a look at these upcoming chords to make sure that everybody's on the same page to discover this beautiful key formula slash amazing treasure map. You can also get a special sheet that goes with this lesson in the description, but also everything you need to understand it will be over here on my left side, my whiteboard, summer whiteboard. Very fancy, very sunbathy. First of all, the important thing is to distinguish between what a chord is and a chord shape. So chord versus chord shape. This is a C chord on the ukulele. And handily, that's also a C shape, obviously, because it's open, 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 third. So we're playing a C here, but actually you can play a C many different ways, like this, like this. That's still a C, you hear? It's the same color of a chord meaning that the same notes are being played, only higher up, basically, that's what's happening. So, same chord, but different shapes that I'm gonna be using to play this chord. If I use the same shape, which is, for example, barred and then four here, one, 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 four, or two, 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 five, this is still called a C shape. I'm still using C shapes to play chords. But of course, they're not C chords anymore. They're different chords. You can see they're going higher up. So this would be a C chord, and this here would be a C sharp chord, but with a C shape, as you can see. We call it C shape because we play the ukulele, and that's how we're used to seeing a C. Except here, instead of having this white thing here, we've got our finger barring here. For example, this would be a D, but with a C shape, you see? Because I'm playing a C, but two frets higher, and that is a D, D major chord. You're used to playing a D major chord like this probably, 2-2-2 two, two, two open, with what we call, as ukulele players, the D shape, right? But you can also play a D with a C shape, like this, 2-2-2-5. Two, 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 and of course, this can be done with all the other shapes that we are used to using as ukulele players. The 2-1 open open, we would call an A shape, and it's also an A major chord. But if you play a B flat major, then it's 3, 2, 1, 1, and we would call this a B-flat, because it is a B-flat, but also we'd call this a B-flat with an A shape, because it's using that same fret, fret just underneath, and then two frets underneath that, which is the same as the B-flat, the B, and here, if we go up again, we've got a C. Oh, that's funny, we've got a C with an A shape, and here a C with a C shape, C with an A shape, C with a C shape. So that's the difference between what is a chord and a chord shape. Basically, chord shapes are the basic shapes that we use on the ukulele to play those chords all the way down here with open strings. And these shapes can be used further up the fretboard to play any chord that we like at all, anything. Here's an F shape, here's an A shape, here's a C shape. But that was not a C major chord, and that was not an F major chord, and that was not an A major chord, you understand? It was just those shapes played higher up. Whew! I mean, that's, that's already pretty scientific, isn't it? That's, uh, but uh, we, are, we are all uh, ukulele Einstein wannabes, probably. Well, not really, actually. We just want to sing. We just want to sing. So, this is the magic formula 
This is the Cagford. What it enables you to do is play a chord and then find all those other shapes above it or below it that are still the same chord. So if I wanna play a C, a C major chord, you know this one. If you don't know this chord, um, <laughs> probably this, this lesson is really tough. Well, of course, you, need, you know the C chord. Open, 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 third. And you see what's happening here is that we've got C. On top of that, it's written plus three, and we move to an A. What does that mean? It means that we take our index here and we move it plus three up. So it's here, sort of. So one, two, three. Here's our index, and we play an A shape on top of that, meaning that we will play A shape. Two, one, open, open. But it's not two and open, open. Actually, it's five, four, and barred index, index on the third frets. So we play a C plus three. One, two, three, and we play an A shape. And that is our C plus three and two A, and we are still playing the same chord, the chord of C. So we are on the A shape playing a C, C major A shape. Here, uh, let's skip the G for now, let's go right to the F with a plus four. So your index on the third frets, three plus four, four, five, six, seven. And F shape is two open, one open, you know, like down here. But up here, it'll be two index, one index. And that's our move from the A shape to the F shape, plus four frets. So we're up here, and then plus three frets, we take our index here, move it up three frets, because there's a plus three up there, and it's... Ah, one, two, three. And then here we play a D shape, which is two, 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 zero. That's how we play a D down here. But here it's 12, 12, 12, 10, actually. And our index is here. So we've got, to recap, a C. That's fine, that's fair enough. Plus three, A shape. Oh, it's still the same chord, it's still a C. Plus four, one, two, three, four, plus F shape. It's still a C, and then plus three, meaning we're here, one, two, three, and add a D on top of that. And if you want, you can add two on your index, and that's back to the C. I'm on the 12s here. Oops. So you see what is happening, it's amazing. What is happening? Sorry, what's happening here is that you've got one chord that you can play everywhere without having to know which notes, is it a G, E, C, where, where, how, how. Just follow the map and go hop plus three, A shape, plus four, F shape, plus three, D shape. <laughs> and I've invented this recently. And uh, plus two, back to the C shape. And that's all a chord of C. And you're gonna say, well, Ben, that, that is my name. You're gonna say, Ben, that's really useful but who spends hours and days only playing a C? I mean, if you've invented a whole mathematical formula just to play lots of C chords, was, was a point. Well, uh, good point, uh, but actually it's not just for the C, it can be used for absolutely any chord that you want, and it can help you go up or down with whomever. And by whom, I mean it has to be a chord, it can't just be a friend from that one holiday you had that one time by the beach or something. Oh, I haven't mentioned why there's a small G. It's because between the A shape and the F shape, instead of having a big leap of four, you can have a small leap of two and have a G in the middle. What I mean by this is C shape, one, two, three, A shape, still the same chord, still a C major, uh, plus two, index here, and then we add where, from where our index is, we add a G chord. So it's as if this white thing here is on the fifth fret, and we have open two, three, two to play a G. But here it's actually five, seven, eight, seven. Five, seven, eight, seven. And then on top of that, oh, we can go and add two. And that's where our index is at. And that becomes the F. So the transition from A to G to F is done like this. And it's all the G chord, the C chord still. The thing is, the G, it's not very practical because it sounds the same as the F shape, the G shape, if you're playing the same chord. And it's lots of hassle to play it. So we don't always use the G shape, but it's there if you want to use it. That's why it's called the Cagford. 
So let's give it a roll. Let's give it a try with, for example, a completely different chord. Let's say an F. Right, so we've got an F. You can play it too. If you've got the ukulele, you should have it. Yes, exactly. So play an F. Two, open, one, open. Ah, what a beautiful chord. Ah, it's an F. So we take we, our starting point as the F. So if we want to go up and still play an F chord but higher, what do we do? We add three and play a D. So our index, of course, you have to imagine it, it starts off here, right? So, so one, two, three, and on top of that, you add a D shape. So it's as if your index here is the white thing here. So instead of playing two, 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 oh, you play two, 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 oh, except it's five, 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 open. And there you go. Do you hear that that is the same chord? What if we want to go higher? Then we go D to C. We move our index two frets, one, two, and play a C. What if we want to go higher? Move our index three frets and play an A. One, two, three, and then we have it. Look, we can play F, D, C, A. Shapes, and just play an F major chord. And it's like this. Let's try that again slowly. F plus three, one, two, three, D shape, still the same chord. Plus two, C plus three, A shape. And if we go down, it's up. And that's all an F chord. Now the magic about this is that you can do this with all the chords you want, with an A for example. A plus two, let's do the G shape. Plus two again, F. Plus uh, three, one, two, three, and D shape. And plus two to the C, one, two. Minus three. Minus, <laughs> there's heavy maths here. Two, minus two. So you can use it to go up or down. And the importance of being able to use it to go down also, so you just imagine it's a minus and go the other way. Basically, C, minus two, you go to the D. Minus three, you go to the F shape. Minus four, you go to the A shape. Minus three, you go back to the C shape. That enables you to play anything that you want. For example, imagine I'm gonna play an F shape anywhere. What chord is this? Do you know? I don't know. But if I know, oh, it's an F shape. Wait, if I go down to and play a G shape, uh, and then go down two again, one, two, and play an A shape, uh, and then go three down, one, two, three, and play a C shape. Oh, here I am down here, and it's just above a C, it's a C sharp major. So this was a C sharp major. You're able to decipher without any theoretical knowledge at all, without any knowledge of notes and harmonies or anything. You're able to decipher what major chord was that anywhere up the fretboard. Isn't that amazing? So let's do the D now, okay? We can do this quite slowly and together to see if you've got the idea. So you can use this as a test. I'm gonna ask you first what you wanna do and then we can see if you're right. So if we want to play a D, we play two, 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 oh. But if we wanna play it higher up, how are we gonna do this? Okay, you tell me. D is to go to the C, we need plus two, exactly. Except here we imagine, of course, that we, we start from the bottom, so one, two, and then we play a C. Here we have a D major chord with a C shape. Then to go from the C to the A, we have to go back at the front of the formula, and C to go to the A shape, to still play a D, is plus three. So one, two, three, A shape. To the F, let's skip the G. To the F, it's plus four and then F shape. One, two, three, four, F shape. And let's play a D again. We're crazy us, we're crazy us. How are you gonna do this? From the F to the D. You have to have plus three, exactly. One, two, three, and the D. I mean, it's really hard to play. If you have a massive ukulele that's this size, it's easy enough. Obviously, if you get too high, you don't need to do um, huge leaps and go, and play chords all the way up here. It's, it's good enough that you know your way around what is playable, right? So now let's do the G. So if we have a G, we need a plus two to get to the F. That's our map. So plus two, one, two, play an F. You hear how that's the same chord? 
and really there's not much difference between those two chords the way that they sound. G shape, F shape. Same chord, actually the same notes also, so not much difference. That's why the G is written in a little font, <laughs> not in caps, basically, because it's, it's not a big deal to play the G as you do the Kagfud, but you can. Anyway, G to F, plus three to the D. So we have the G on the F shape, one, two, three, we have our index all across the 5th frets, and we play a D shape. And that's still a G. And then to go from a D to a C, 1, 2, C shape. To the A, 1, 2, 3, A shape. And we're on the 10th fret, is that? Yeah, we're index all across the 10th frets here. And let's go back down. Oof, that's tricky, okay. A, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, C shape. Minus 2, 1, 2, D shape. Minus 3, F shape, 1, 2, 3. Minus 2, G shape, 1, 2. And there you go, we've gone up and down with the G. Isn't that amazing? That means that any major call that you ever play again in your life on the ukulele, with this simple map, you'll know how to play it up. And then when you're up there playing a major chord somewhere, your whole life, You'll be able to come back down like you've got a smooth parachute, like a butter smooth parachute, or a parachute made of some sort of ex exfoliating cream, which is something really. Ooh. So to show you how you can use this and to help you to learn it, I've developed or I've composed a couple of very short songs um, that are meant to bring the Cagford into you're playing, not just as an exercise, but also as something that you're playing. And it's like a, a, a bit of a challenge, really. And the songs are like this, and maybe I'll take some more time to do a walkthrough in a couple of other videos, but I'll just give you a little sing-song here. They're already in the document, in the description, and they sound like this. We start with an F. The cacfu, the cac... Oh, that's the one. The cac... Okay, F shape. And the lyrics are the cacfu, the cacfu. It isn't easy, it isn't easy. Um, but then it turns out the Cagford, the Cagford, it is quite easy, actually. It is, it is quite easy. So, the Cagford, the Cagford, the Cagford, the Cagford, E flat, it is, B flat isn't F easy. It isn't easy. Let's do that again. The Cagford hasn't started yet. The Cagford, the Cagford, the Cagford, it isn't easy. Again, it isn't easy. Up from the A shape to the F shape, up to the D shape. Down from the C shape to the D shape, up to the C shape. And from the C shape to the A shape to the F shape, and to the D shape, up to the C shape. It is quite easy. It is quite easy. So you see what I did there? There's uh, the lyrics tell you what shape you're supposed to use, and then the sheet tells you what chord, what chord you're supposed to use. I'll do that quite slowly. Up from the A shape to the F shape to the D shape. That's all on a B flat chord. Down to the F shape to the D shape up to the C shape. That's all on an F chord, but with different shapes. And from the C shape, that's all going to be a C chord now. And from the C shape to the A shape to the F shape to the D shape and to the C shape. It is quite easy. And the other little song that we can have a look at more in detail together, probably some other time, if you want. Oh, sorry, I lost my coconut. Uh, <laughs> is this one. It starts with a G, B minor, C6, and then with a C shape. This is what you do with the cat. You go C shape, A shape, F shape, D shape. This is what you do with the Cagford. You go C, D shape, C shape, A shape, F shape. This is what you do with the Cagford, the Cagford, yeah. You go G shape, F shape, D shape, C shape. So you see, every time there's a 
shape, E shape, B shape, B shape. It's the same chord, but going up with different shapes, which is the whole point of the Cagford. So see you soon for those other two little videos for those songs specifically, where we can have a, a slow breakthrough, or sorry, a slow breaking down of them, if you want. And if you enjoyed this sunny video, a bit windy maybe, then uh, please leave a like and click comment and you can tell me what's your favorite flower because it's spring. So see you soon for more and you can support my work and follow many more of my videos on patreon.com forward slash ukulele road trips. You would be absolutely awesome if you did have a look over there. And thank you so much to the patrons who have been waiting very patiently for the secret formula to be revealed since I pre-announced it and teased it with the name hidden in a picture. Now it's out. Thank you so much for your patience. And also thank you a lot to everybody who requested it <laughs> while I wasn't doing it um, because it, it does get me to work faster. So good job, everyone. And see you soon for more Cagford and more videos. Bye.